Keith Royal with Pulsar One Source. Just got done installing the Smoothmoose Ultra boat seat suspension in my passenger side of my boat. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through how easy it is to install an Ultra boat seat suspension in your boat and as well as show you how to install a low profile box system by Smoothmoose. What I'm going to do is I'm going to walk through mounting both of them differently in uh, the driver's side area. So you can see how easy it is to be able to do one or the other, depending on what kind of boat you may have. I'm going to start out with a low profile box system. I'll show you how easy that is to put together. So first thing I need to do is to remove my existing seat pedestal and seat, and then unscrew the base of the seat from the existing seat pedestal. That's going to be step one. Most of your existing seats are going to come with a swivel tensioner on the front end. Um, I'm just going to loosen that up. That way I can swivel, as well as there is also a pin that uh, stops your seat from being able to spin when it locks in place. So you're going to want to pop that out. That pulls the pin out, loosen up the tension on the seat, swivel this thing up, just kind of pull on it, move it. Seat's going to come off the top. Now we are to removing the pedestal base from the floor. I'm just going to remove the screws from the floor. All right, those screws are out. There's the pedestal base. This is the base plate. You can see all the different holes and it's just got uh, areas where the screws actually sit down and recessed into the plate. You want to have this plate facing towards the front, just like this. You don't, that way the, when the smooth move suspension sits on top of it, it bolts to the side, everything is facing the right direction. So we're gonna bolt this down to the floor. All you're gonna do is take your existing screws that you removed, put them back in to the boat. I've got my wrench set at torquing, so you won't strip out the screw heads and or the floor of the boat. Now comes the actual suspension itself. The tag on the suspension always goes towards the rear of the boat. That sits on top of the plate. And it comes with four bolts that are going to require a 916 socket wrench. Now you take your four bolts with the locking nuts. And you're going to slide in through the holes and you line them up. Install all four bolts. Once you have all four bolts through the existing holes, then you just go ahead and tighten them down with a wrench. All right, next step. I've got the base plate bolted to the suspension itself. Now comes the top plate. Top plate is part that your seat bolts to. So we need to unscrew the plate that was existing from your old seat pedestal first, and then mount this to it. 99% of the time, the screws that hold your old pedestal to the base of the seat, the swivel part, are going to be Phillips head, so you're going to want to get yourself a larger Phillips head bit. You just remove the screws. Now, this is why you saw earlier this top plate has a sticker on it that actually says front. So you want to point and put this towards the front of the seat, like so. Now, to be able to bolt this through without removing this piece, you've got to pull that. That allows it to the seat base to swivel. And you can see there that I can get into that hole to be able to put the bolt in. So I'm going to put that in by hand first. 
started a little bit. Got that one started. Now I'm gonna move it down to the next one. Line that one up. Do this with all four. You want to get yourself a little bit longer bit for this. If you've got a real short one, you won't be able to reach. All right. Now, go along, snug up all four screws so they're nice and tight. All right, the last step to installing the low-profile box system in your boat is taking the 7 16 bolts that come with in the kit, and we're going to bolt them through the top of the suspension plates into the top plate of the seat, the swivel plate. So, real simple, front of the seat, towards the front of the boat. We're gonna set that on top of the suspension. There is two metal brackets on top of the suspension that when you bolt through, those allow the seat to be able to be adjusted forward and backwards. One of them has a zip tie on it. You're going you're gonna to break that zip tie off. And then the other side has a handle that comes out, which allows you to move the slider forward and backwards. I'm going to line up the holes, put my bolts through. as far as I can by hand. Go to the other side. Line that one up, do the same thing. Now you've got to tighten these up a little bit just so the plate is able to slide back to put the back two in. I don't tighten them up all the way just yet. Because that, that way it, it uh, allows the back to be able to move a little bit if you need to line up the back two bolts into the holes. So I'm just going to tighten it where it's just barely snug. Now I'm going to pull the tension leveler or pull the tension leveler on the other side that allows your seat to go back and forth. Slide it backwards. So the seat is far enough back where you can get the two back bolts installed right here. These ones you can snug down good and tight with your wrench. Now, last step is literally just tighten these down. These ones you want to be good and snug. All right, you're gonna pull that slider arm back, bring it back forward so you can tighten up the front two bolts. And just like that, the low profile box suspension is installed. If you're doing this, it should really only take about 15 to 20 minutes of your time to install either the box system or the ultra boat seat suspension system. So there's the box system. Now we're going to go on to the ultra boat seat suspension and show you how that one installs as well. First step is installing the garlic pedestal in floor plate. This is going to go over the existing holes. I'm going to line that up. Go ahead and put your screws back in. Once the garlic pedestal in floor is installed, now you're going to go to the garlic pedestal swivel. This piece gets bolted to the base of the suspension system. This is going to require a 9 16 wrench socket. I'm going to line them all up, get them all in by hand first.
All right, all four are in. Now I'm gonna crank those down nice and tight. After you have those all tightened down, you're gonna take the suspension system, flip it over, and set it on top of the garlic pedestal in the floor plate, like so. Now, to be able to tighten this up, if you want it to be able to swivel, you can tighten that down and adjust that accordingly to how much tension you want on that suspension to be able to spin your seat. And if you crank it all the way down, it won't move. Plus there is also a pin lever on this side that you can put in place that will lock the suspension in place so it cannot spin when you're running. By pulling that out, pulling that pin out, and then loosening that swivel, now you can swivel your seat. So, suspension is in place. Now the last step is to bolt the mounting plate to the seat, flip that back upside down, and then mount the seat to the suspension itself. Pretty much exactly what we did on the last install. I'm gonna bump these sliders up to the front so I can get the bolts through. Now I'm gonna mount that plate to the base of the seat. When it comes to the mounting plate, you want the nuts that are essentially welded to the back of this plate facing upwards, away from the seat, like so. Then you want to have the last line on the back two towards the rear of the seat. Now you're going to take your four screws that you pulled out when you removed the last pedestal from this seat and reinstall. And now you're able to put this on top of the sliders and bolt this down to the suspension. Now that I've got the seat on top of the suspension, I need to take the four bolts that come with the kit. Those are 7 16 bolts. A 7 16 socket for that. And repeat the step that we did on the last one. I'm gonna line up the front holes on the slide slider plates with the front holes on the mounting plate from the seat. Put my bolts through. And as far as I can with my hands, because remember you gotta slide this back to be able to put the back two in. And you're gonna lightly tighten these. Once those are just barely snugged up, I'm going to pull the tension arm on the other side of the slider so I can slide it backwards to be able to put the back two bolts in. And then just install the back two. These ones you can snug up. Snug that one up nice and tight. Now go back to the front. Snug those up as well. That the smooth move ultra seat suspension is installed. This is another one that should take roughly around 15 to 20 minutes max to put inside your boat. So there it is, quick and easy install on both styles of smooth move seat suspensions. Um, hopefully that video helps you out and you're able to do this real easily and quickly on your own.